now, now she's a pure batter, right? She isn't keeping behind the wicket. So is there more freedom, but also more pressure on her? And how do you think she can sort of just convert that into a big score today? Sure. I think, I, I think my honest opinion is Lee is under quite a bit of pressure. Um, she, she is such an amazing batter. She is so dynamic. Uh, and she's, she's got amazing hands. And she's got, I wouldn't say she's got the greatest footwork at times, but she's got such fantastic hands. I think her, like, I think she's always got this internal conflict within herself, like how to pace her innings, when she should be going, when she should be holding back. And, and, I, and I feel that that's sort of, sort of what gets into her head too much. You know, I mean, she, she is a fantastic batter. I mean, she, she hits the ball as long as sort of anyone in, in the world. And, and I'm almost saying, like, some of the guys, um, when they see her, her hit a big six, they're like, whoa, where did that come from? They, you know, they can't quite believe that a, a woman can hit, the, hit such a long ball. I think she really just needs to slow herself down at the beginning of her innings. She needs to take her time. And she's got the ability to accelerate. She almost needs to go back and look at um, Marizan Cup's innings from the first ODI and just say, like, yo, I could see, you know, Cuppy was struggling. She couldn't get the ball going. Um, and just really try and focus on, you know, getting through those first sort of 20 deliveries. Because Zell Lee, if she, if she can get through 20, she's going to start seeing it like a football. And when she starts seeing it like a football, we know what she can do. So I really do just think that she just needs to calm herself down. Um, she needs to watch outside her off stump. She loves to sort of prod outside the off stump. And then often if, if the ball straightens too much, then she gets caught like we saw in the first ODI. So she yeah. kind of wants to get back on ball the whole time outside the off stump. And then when the bowler straightens up a bit, then she gets herself into to a little bit of trouble because she's now over overcommitted. Um, I almost would like to say, you know, play it like a test match for the first 20 balls. If you need, if you really want to leave it outside the off stump, leave it. Get the get the feel for the pitch, um, and then then really open up. Uh, both parts, I love watching bats. I think she's a fantastic batter. I mean, she's just got perfect technique, uh, and uh, she would have been really disappointed with um, with her innings and going out on 40. Um, I know her as a player, and I know how she approaches her innings, and because she got the start that she did. She, she would have expected herself and put pressure on herself uh, to get very close to the end of the South African innings. I think if she did that, um, we would have seen a score closer to 230, 240, 250. So she's going to be very critical of, of herself um, and, and, um, and try and sort of correct that. Um, but I think I'm hoping that the South African um, openers can get off to a really good start because then I think it could be quite exciting. Yeah.